Hi, good morning everyone. Today I will talk about the pipeline hydraulics and basically we want to calculate the flow rate at the operating conditions and what are the operating conditions we are looking at, at what pressure and temperature uh, we can calculate the flow rate. So first of all, we have this kind of question and let me explain how this question works. First of all, we have a crude oil pipeline uh, from St. Louis to Chicago is a 200 kilometer long and it has a 20 inch outside diameter, nominal diameter and a wall thickness of 0.281 wall thickness. So first let's go and start with this assumption. So we have a pipeline, something looks like this one. Okay, so, okay. First of all, this pipeline is 200 kilometer long. Distance of this pipeline is 200 kilometers. So this is the step one. Okay. Now you see that the, for now the pipeline is straight. There is no elevation. So this is a very ideal situation we are talking about. Okay. So remember this in mind. It's a very ideal situation. Does not really exist in a in a real scenario. So number two is the we have an outside nominal diameter of twenty inches. So it I'm here. I'm talking about the outside diameter, which is this one from here to here okay so this is the outside diameter okay so this is the outside diameter yeah. okay then we have a wall thickness of 0 0.281 so when I say wall thickness I'm talking about the thickness of this pipe thickness of this one here so this is our wall thickness here okay okay then what we are trying to do here, this is the, the material of this pipe that we are using. At the injection point, so injection point is this one here from here, and this is the inlet, and this is the outlet. So let me write it here. So this is the inlet of the pipeline. And then this is, here we have the outlet. Now at this inlet point or injection point, we have a 32 API degree crude oil. So first of all, this crude oil basically, once you have a crude oil, let's say from five wells or 10 wells or 20 wells, using the manifold and pipelines, small pipelines, we connect them all together and send them to the storages. So storage are basically big cylindrical type storages. So from the storages, uh, here I just made a small storage. So this is the oil storage. Okay. So we have our crude oil stored in these these storage tanks, which is gathered from all the oil wells in the in that field, and from here we connect this this pipeline from through the pipeline from here through this pipeline so that we can transport it to the refinery. That is our main objective. For, let's say for this example. So this is our inlet point. So from here, so crude oil that we want to transport here has an API of 32 degree. That's what we are trying to do here, 32 degree API oil. We want to inject. Now, at this pressure, so we have now two kind of conditions here. Okay, one condition we have here is the inlet condition at what condition this is transporting from oil storage to this pipeline. Okay, so this is the inlet conditions. And, okay. And then we have another kind of system operating pressure and temperature. So this is operating conditions. Now operating conditions are operating conditions are the one which we try to maintain inside all this pipeline starting from here till here. And inlet conditions are one from the oil storage, the, the crude oil is moving from here 
till here now at the inlet condition we have ambient pressure 14.7 psi and uh, the temperature is 15 degrees centigrade okay so the inlet conditions here what we have is 14.7 psi and 15 degrees centigrade and we have a flow rate at these conditions Okay, first we are flowing at this condition and the flow rate is at this condition is 18,000 meter cube per day. Okay. Initially, but what we want, we want to maintain this pipeline. Okay, at 4,000 kilopascal gauge and 4 degrees centigrade. Okay, so we have uh, in oil stored in PSI 15 degree and we want we are sending 1800 meter cube per day at these conditions but now the operating conditions as per the outlet requirements or customer require we want to keep a 4000 kilopascal gauge and 4 degree centigrade now the question is if we raise this pressure and this temp uh, reduce this temperature to 4 degree centigrade what will be its impact on the flow rate this is the question number one because if you change the pressure and temperature it has definitely effect on the density so if it has that effect on density uh, then it means that it has effect on the flow rate so in the question number one what we are trying to do here is to find out if we have a density uh, differences and pressure and temperature differences how you find the flow rate okay so that's the part one and in the this is part one and in the part two i will go through this question